Imagine if is a great starting question to help us think about a future that we all want. So when I imagine, I imagine that we, we value education. So that all students have an opportunity to um, achieve a degree or a credential that will help them follow their dreams. Imagine if we're successful, <laughs> how different education would be. The rationale for the work that's going on in the National Courseware Challenge grants and in the IPASS grants, they're all aimed at a big, big outcome, and that's improving student success. The biggest barrier for most secondary education is access. That is to say, the ability to get access to a quality, reasonably priced educational environment that works with their particular lifestyle. So increasingly, learners in this country are non-traditional learners. They're first-generation students who don't have parents who have modeled the going-to-college behavior. Uh, they are working while learning. They have children, full-time jobs. And so it's actually saying, how can our institutions be flexible enough to serve them? When I think about why I do the work that I do um, and why I'm interested in improving student success, I, I think about myself and, and my own uh, upbringing background. And you know, I, I started out at a university, University of Kansas, my freshman year of college, and uh, I had a really hard time becoming familiar and, and, and feeling like I, a sense of belonging at, at KU. And I ended up having to go to community college to get back on track. And I really believe that. A lot of the work that's being done right now, and the work I'm doing with the NMC, is helping to make it easier for students to get on the right track to begin with. We talk about access, but success is also important. Once they're on our campus, it is very, very important that they understand that college is not like high school. The university and community college life really puts together a lot of commitment. I think it's important that when our students come to, whether it's a community college or a, a university, that when they come, they understand somewhat about the careers that they're exploring, that they understand what the marketplace is, that they understand what the potential job opportunities are. How that might impact both their pocketbook now, but also their pocketbook four, five, six years out the line. and without quality data without data that actually connects them and shows them the kinds of jobs they might be able to get, the type of experience they might be able to have at a specific school. Without that data, they're not able to make the best decision and ultimately that has impacts for their ability to complete, for their ability to enter the workforce in a successful way. But it's really about giving young people especially enough opportunities to experience things, to develop their own passions and interests about what they want to pursue not only to be able to find a career that's going to help you uh, be successful and support your family, but many people care about meaning as well and finding work that they uh, believe is fulfilling. The biggest obstacle that uh, we see in higher education, I think, is the culture of higher education itself. It requires a, a village to move it, and, and I think it's really the, that passion that's going to move things forward. These students have so much at risk. Uh, their future, their the lives of their children, everything is at stake when they come to post-secondary and um, they deserve the best that everybody can deliver for them. I'm a first-generation college student and I want to make sure that other people like me, other young, young students who are immigrants, young students who are people of color or who are uh, working class, low income, also have those same opportunities because I've seen firsthand how transformational that can be.